In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the center console lid in this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We're gonna remove this cover. Just take a small straight blade screwdriver, get in the corner here, or a trim tool. Just pop up underneath. And then it slides down. So there's clips on the side, and then it will slide down. Now we want to remove this bolt right here. Use a T50 socket. This is for the seatbelt. Take that bolt out. We can slide the seatbelt out. There is a little cover right here. Just take the straight blade screwdriver. Get underneath there. And then the seatbelt is unattached from the seat. With the seat all the way forward in the back, we're gonna remove these covers. Just use a trim tool right around the front part of it. Just pop up and then it slides back. It's just clipped in right there. Then we're gonna pop this cover off. Just use a small pocket screwdriver or a straight blade screwdriver underneath here. Pop this cover up, it's just clipped in. Now using an E14 socket, we're gonna take this bolt out right here, loosen that up. And on this side, I'm gonna do the same. Take this bolt out. Now we need to move the seat to the back position. If you have a manual seat, then obviously just move it all the way back. and pop this cap off here, just with a straight blade screwdriver. And this cover right here, just use the trim tool, get underneath. That pops off right there. This little piece stayed on here, just pop that off. It's just gonna go in there, just like that. We're gonna remove these nuts, use an E18 socket. In the back part of the seat, there's a cover right here. You wanna take that cover off. You can move the seat forward if you need to. Pop that off. It's just clipped in right there. And then you wanna get the seat where you want it. And then you can disconnect this connector. Just squeeze on the two sides here. And lift the lever. And then you disconnect the seat. Now you can pull the seat out. Just grab the seat. Carefully twist it out. And now we're gonna do the same procedure on the other side. In this center console, we're gonna take this tray out, just grab on the side. You should be able to pull up. If you can't, if it doesn't pull up that easily, just get a trim tool underneath and pry up. It's just clipped in on the sides and the back. Set that aside. Disconnect some wires. You can slide them off the retainers right there. Use a straight blade screwdriver. Just push down on the tabs, slide those off. There's a connector right here. Just push down on the tabs, on the two sides. Rotate that. And this should slide out. Disconnect that. 
Now this retainer right here, slide this off. Now you can grab the center console and slide it back. And it slides right out. We're gonna take this piece off, just use a trim tool, just get underneath here. You can just pull with your hand and just pry this out. off like that. You can disconnect the connector right here. Push down on the tab. Slide it off. Now using a Phillips head screwdriver, there's two screws here. And then in here, if you take that cup holder down, you got those two as well. Take those out. It'll be a little easier if you take the cup holder out. So there's three screws right there. Take those off. Take those out. And this piece comes off. These two front panels come off. You can just take the trim tool, get underneath here. And they're just clipped in. Out. And just push that out, slide that out, do the same on this one. Now we have all these screws to take out. There's some on the sides as well. Use a Phillips head screwdriver. On the sides, there's two on both sides. And then this cover just lifts up and out of the way. And take these four screws out using the Phillips head screwdriver. And the cover just slides right up. I'll line the hinge up. And I'll take the screws, get those started. Now slide this cover on. And get the screws started.
Now we can tighten those down. Snug them up. And now put this cover on, get that lined up. Oops. And put the screws in. Two up top. These two down below. Get those tightened down first and then put the cup holder in. Tighten those down. Now plug this connector in. Line this up. Lock it down. And slide these covers on. Line those up. Now just line this up. Slide it in position. Make sure these go over the studs, just like that, on both sides. Now connect the connectors. You can slide that on the tab, right there. This connector, line that up. Ratchet it down. It's just gonna attach right there. And take this compartment, and remember there's two little tabs here. Those are gonna slide in first. And then push it down. Now we're gonna put the seats back in. We're gonna connect the connector first. Plug that in, lock it on, and then just make sure the seats line up with all the studs, the wire doesn't get crushed. That's good there, that's good. And now we're gonna install the bolts in the rear, get those started. Might have to wiggle the seat a little bit. Just gonna tighten these down. just so they're almost tight, not quite, so we can wiggle the seat if we have to for the front. Now move the seat back. Now put the nuts on up front. Now we'll tighten these down. I'm going to torque these to 41 foot-pounds. Now I'm going to move the seat forward again. Now tighten the rear. Then we'll torque the rear bolts to 66 foot-pounds.
Now take the seat belt. You want to make sure the seat belt's not twisted. What you can do is actually plug it in. Make sure that goes the correct way. It's going to slide through here. Line that up. Put the bolt in. And we'll tighten that down. And we'll torque this to 38 foot-pounds. And take this cover. These two slots are going to go in first. Just line that up, lock it down. Now this cover is going to go on right here. That's going to go on that stud. Line that up and lock it down. Now slide this cover over the connector. It's going to slide in that side first and then push down in the front. Just lock it in place. And that's locked in. Now this cover is going to go right here. Lock it in. And put this cover on. And this one's going to go over here. Line it up. Lock it down. And then you can do the same on the other side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.